Okay, this is Destructo the Motor Day. I wanted to show what happens when we take these multiple speed PSC uh, blower motors like this and wire them incorrectly. Now let's take a look at the wires in this thing. Now this is a three speed motor. We've got a black and a white right there, blue and red. Okay, red's low speed, uh, blue's medium, and black is high, and white's common. PSC motor, get a little cap on there. Let's say we wire blue and black together, and we forget to put the common in. What's going to happen to the motor? Well, let's see. Okay, we're ready to fire this thing up. Seems to be working, doesn't it? Well, maybe not. Runs better now. After the smoke and the fire came out of it, it seems to run pretty good. Let's see if the amp draw is it's still running. 14, eh, 14 amps, and I think it's going to go again without here. drawing about 13 amps seems to have fixed itself so it's gonna run for a while okay here we have another one still in the blower housing I've wired uh, medium and low I think together I got the ammeter on it so let's see what happens oops well I blew the breaker Okay, here we go again back with this other one. Uh, it actually has its internal overload kick off. Yeah, we're drawing 18 amps. Didn't seem to want to turn. Just kind of sitting there. Let's see what's going to happen. Here's the beginning of a little smoke coming off of it. Okay, this one did not kick off the breaker. Didn't totally burn up the motor. I mean, the smoke coming out is a little indication there. It actually turned off the internal overload. Okay, this one here has just got the windings in it. I've taken the rotor out. And let's see what happens to this when we uh, hook up the power to it. Sounds like bacon fryer. Still going. Going 31 amps. Mm, not drawing any amps anymore. 